Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa if you're new here. As you can tell from the title, we are going to be doing a little Sunday meal prep slash spend the day with us slash resetting for the week. My hands looked really scary right there. It's 1.47. The reason we're starting out a little bit late today is because we literally maybe 45 minutes ago just got home from skiing with all of our friends and it's about a three hour drive home so we left this morning at like eight just got home mitch is outside in the car waiting for me getting some last minute things out of the car we're about to go to costco come home meal prep clean the house i know today's the super bowl but since the lions lost we're kind of just like mm, whatever i mean i'm sure we'll have it on but it's just not our priority today and then from 4 to 6 p.m. I think is the window that we have to go pick a chick up from daycare. We boarded her, so she's been playing with her friends all weekend. I'll see you guys in the car. I might bring you into Costco this time if I'm feeling brave enough because you guys, it's a little intimidating filming in public, but maybe I'm feeling up for it. Okay, Mitch, I need one rose and one thorn from this weekend skiing. I would say rose, seeing you do so well skiing. That made me really happy because I always worry about you on the slopes. I'm not very good yet. I just can do like jumps and shit, so he's cool. kind of. Well, let's just go into the thorn. So the okay. thorn, thorn was getting so disgustingly exhausted that it fell asleep in the car outside the restaurant. And <laughs> you guys. Came so out I'm gonna insert like the mummy. video. I'm gonna insert the video. No, please don't. Because it's hilarious. He wasn't even like drunk. So we skied all morning. I wanted to leave around two because MSU was playing Illinois and we wanted to go to a bar and watch that game. So a group of us left to go watch that game. Mitch literally drove us there. We ate food and then he's like, guys, I'm so sorry. I have to go sleep in the car. And we're like, okay, we're just gonna finish the game and like go take a nap in the car. And he literally had to take a nap in the car. I would say my rose would be that Michigan State beat Illinois. My thorn would have to be that there was maybe three snowflakes of snow on the ground and the snow conditions were just awful. It was like 57 degrees on Friday and we skied on Saturday and it was like 35, 36 out. And so when you're not a really good skier, having terrible skiing conditions I feel like makes it a little bit harder, but regardless, we had a really good time. Okay, we're gonna go into Costco. It's looking a little busy, you guys. So I don't know if I'm gonna bring you in, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna work up the courage, I'm gonna try. So you wanna get food from the food court, huh? We haven't gotten anything from here in so long. Last weekend. Not any food. Oh, we got a pizza and a yeah. smoothie, I think. Or was that two that weeks ago? That was like three weeks ago. Okay. Mitch is so annoying because every single week we get avocados and every single week I throw away about five of the six avocados in this bag. So we're gonna take a we're gonna make a bet and see if Mitch can actually finish the freaking avocados or if I'm just gonna throw them away at the end of the week. I definitely chickened out a little bit when it came to filming in Costco. It was chaos. If you've been to Costco on a Sunday, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We are now on our way to Meyer or Target. Target's sounding a little bit more fun right now. We'll definitely end up spending more money if we go to Target. Also, we ended up not getting any avocados because the bags were either extremely, extremely ripe to the point where they were like ripping, like the skin of the avocado, or they were so not ripe that they were just like rock hard and we we need them for meal prep this week. We didn't want to wait four days for it to be ready. Another thing I feel like with avocados, am I the only one? You get avocados and you're like, okay, they're super hard. I'll wait like three days and they'll be perfect. And then you wait like three days and they're like brown, mushy, and moldy. Like there's no, I just feel like there's never an in-between. Like you're either way too late for avocados or you're way too early. Like eating avocados when they're perfectly ready and ripe is just such a hard timing thing, I swear. Look how cute Mitch is, just pumping gas, throwing things away. He's all shy. This entire vlog will be in my freaking car. We just got to Target. It is so insanely busy. I don't know why we're shocked. We typically don't go to Target on Sundays, but there are just so many people. And then we saw someone pull out. We are three spots from the front door. We saw someone pull out and we just like skirted over there and got so lucky but so yeah we're gonna go in i'm not gonna bring you because the last time i feel like i brought my camera into tiktok like a girl made fun of me and i wanted to cry and throw up and just evaporate so we're not gonna do that today so of course target did not have everything we needed we need cilantro green onion oh. and one more thing and they didn't have that so we're gonna stop at meyer and hopefully that's our last stop of the day 
Okay, we've just gotten back from all three grocery stores, which was unplanned, but I thought I would just do a little haul of all the groceries we did get, because I do get this question a lot, and I feel like it does help give ideas as to like what to buy, even though a lot of these items are for recipes. So Mitch, every week, always gets the organic beef from Costco. Yeah, I don't eat meat, so that's all I have to say about that. I got salmon to go into my salmon, quinoa, and cilantro lime rice dish. I cube these and then we like season the heck out of them and then stick them in the air fryer. So freaking good. I will have to go over the whole recipe when I do start making that. And then Mitch got organic chicken breasts. Okay, then we got sweet potatoes. So we have eggs. Elamix sent me a bunch of bottles. Organic quinoa. We have been obsessed with quinoa lately. I have not been eating rice because I love quinoa so much. I have it in every single one of my dishes. Got two bags of that. Organic blues. Mixed nut butter. I love this stuff. I have this with blueberries on top and then I drizzle honey. Delicious. Lots of Brussels. Poppy, we love our poppy. Frozen carrots, some more Pyrex, meal prep containers, peas, and mixed, or what is this? Steam and bag mucky mommy? Shelled edamame. Fish got old fashioned rolled oats, green onion, pineapple. I've been loving my pineapple lately. Black beans, cilantro, a diet coke for later for me while I meal prep. Oh, all the avocados that Mitch handpicked from Target. Roma tomatoes. So that's everything we got from the grocery store. I, before we get into meal prepping, I'm gonna just tidy, get a wash going. Just try to organize a little bit before we just make a huge mess of the kitchen. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Packer, I'm in the car again. I completely forgot to update you guys, but we looked at the clock when we got home and it was four o'clock. And that is within the window that we can pick up chick from daycare. We're actually about to pick chicken up from, I guess it's not daycare because she was boarded there for the weekend, but this is also where she goes for daycare, so. Let's go see our little baby. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Miss Chick. Hello. Oh, good for Allie. Oh, Thank you. Hi, baby. I made a new friend this week. Oh, oh yay. Gosh, yeah. I love that for her. You have fun, here, baby. Man. I'm so happy she's making right. friends. She's doing so good. <laughs> Aww. Oh my gosh. Okay, right. well, thank you so much. Right, I'll see you guys on Tuesday. I'll see you thank Tuesday. you. All right, thank you. Come on, chicken. Chicken, did you make a new friend? Oh, you're okay. He's right here. Chicken made a new friend. Chick, you look pooped out, huh? Mwah. Look at her back there, just exhausted. You ready, Ma? You got your rally? Jumping? Okay. Whoa, big girl, big girl. Come on, let's go inside. We are back in the kitchen. I've just preheated the oven to 425 degrees to cook. Wait, I'm not cooking salmon in the oven. I'm air frying it. I'm gonna go turn off the freaking oven, unless you need the oven on. Uh, yeah, keep the oven okay, on. Okay, we're gonna keep the oven on. 425 degrees though is not relevant to my salmon dish because I, like I just said, I cube it and then I put it into the air fryer. And then um, I'm going to start our quinoa because it takes so long. So what I do, someone just asked me this online, so I'm just gonna answer it here. This is the rice cooker I have. When we cook quinoa, we put it, we do one cup of quinoa to one cup of water and we have it on the white rice setting. So if you have the same rice cooker, just know that you can put quinoa in it and it makes your quinoa perfectly every single time. Okay, really quickly, this is your reminder to wash your quinoa. Rinse it. I don't rinse it as thoroughly as I do rice, but I still do give it a good rinsing. Next, I'm going to cube my salmon and then put a bunch of seasonings on it and I'll go through each seasoning that we use. I'm about to put probably two tablespoons of avocado oil. You can do olive oil, we just don't have it. And then seasoning wise, this is what the recipe calls for and I'm gonna be doing about three times as much because I have more salmon than 
what this recipe is using. So garlic powder, half teaspoon of garlic powder. Remember, everything is times three. Dark chili powder, three quarters of a teaspoon. Cumin, three quarters of a teaspoon. Cayenne pepper, one eighth of a teaspoon, just a pinch. And then paprika, half a teaspoon. And then salt and pepper. All right, I'm about to put all of this in our air fryer. We do six minutes at 350 degrees, but I do like to preheat my air fryer so it's not like warming up. Like part of the six minutes does not include the warming up of the air fryer. Does that make sense? And then I will show you when those come out. Okay, while I wait for my salmon, I'm going to work on the pico that I make I don't put in the dish, but I make on the side, so when I do heat up my dish, I just put it on afterward. So I'm gonna show you that, but also, Mitch is working on hard-boiled eggs. So cute. This is from Target, and it's from a company called Dash. We love Dash. Like, we use that thing all the time. We probably have 30 hard-boiled eggs, week not weekly, but like, we make them and prep them for the week. It's the best thing ever. So, anyways, onto the pico. I use Roma tomatoes, onions, green onions, Mitch. And then last time I used jalapeno, forgot to buy jalapeno from the store, so we will not be adding it this week. But if you are a gal who likes the flavor of jalapeno or just likes the little extra spice it gives, definitely add this to your <laughs> Really, really, really quick cooking break. Mitch just made this for me. It's so good. Um, it's really random. It's chorizo, like plant-based chorizo from Abbott's. It's Abbott's, I believe, is the brand. Two fried eggs with an egg white and then a little piece of Little Caesars pizza. I'm so excited. I need to put fire sauce from Taco Bell on top. It's gonna be amazing. So excited for this. Shout out Little Caesars. <laughs> we are back, hello, to regular, the eggs are ready! Also, this was delicious, it was phenomenal. They're ready. You guys, I'm telling you, the eggs come out perfectly every single time. Anyways, we are gonna get back to cutting up our veggies. I cut up one more onion and then I'm gonna move on to tomatoes. So Mitch is mad at me because I was in charge of the salmon and I didn't use Pam on the air fryer. So a lot of the salmon got stuck and shredded and also the salmon didn't cook as well because I put too much salmon in the air fryer once. So that's why I'm not the chef in the house. <laughs> The pico has been completed. Please don't judge me for how terrible my cutting skills are, but here she is. I'm gonna just stick her in this um, Tupperware and I'm going to shake it in the Tupperware. Girl last week called me out so hard. Really? Um, so I guess ghee, we bought ghee for the first time and I was reading really fast. And I said, what did I say, classified? I said, classified butter. And she goes, not her saying classified when it's clarified butter. It's a learning process, you guys. We're here, we're learning together. Everything's gonna be okay. Also, side note, Mitch thinks that I should start like a little learning to cook with me channel or like YouTube, or not YouTube, Instagram. And I think next month I'm gonna start one. Let me know if you guys would watch that or if you guys think that's the dumbest thing you've ever heard. Okay, so this was my like salmon, black bean, pico, cilantro, lime, quinoa dish. And I'm still actually kind of working on it because the uh, quinoa is not done and the salmon's not fully done, but we're probably gonna just move on to start making the shrimp fried rice that I'm like, that's on the menu. Um, so we're gonna be kind of jumping back and forth between the two recipes. Mitch is gonna take over this portion of the cooking where he's cutting cilantro. A level like four cooking skill and I'm only at level like one. So he said he's gonna handle it so I don't screw anything else up. All right, tell us how it's done, Mitch. Um, you just kind of like bunch it up. Okay. And then you just kind of chop the end off. <clears throat> so you basically need really big, strong hands to do this. <laughs> you just don't have the dexterity that you need. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. This looks so good. And that's it. I'm just gonna keep like holding it together. I'm just gonna chop the whole thing. Yeah, you, have, you still have leaves in here. Oh. Okay. Thank Trust you. me, I got you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We're just de-shelling. So the trick with hard boiled eggs is once they're done, immediately put them into cold water. I don't know what it does for them, but I'm telling you, hold on. Watch how easy this breaks. Okay, I promise, okay, look at it. Look, it just like peels off. It doesn't get stuck and it doesn't rip off any of the egg with it. Look at that. She's an expert, haha. <laughs> get it, expert? <laughs> the quinoa turned out so beautifully and fluffy, but I want to show them. Look at the fluff. And so now I'm really just going to start assembling all of my salmon dishes. Okay, quick thing though. This is like my most asked question whenever I post on Instagram what like my meal preps and stuff are where are my meal prep containers from? These are from Target and they are the brand Ello. I love these because I'm trying to not eat out of plastic things. So the bottom is glass so you can microwave it. This, it has this little like rubber, let me it has like this little rubber thing that detaches and so it's an entirely glass Tupperware but this attached to the bottom so you can like set it on counters without shattering your Tupperware. Not that I've ever shattered it, but it just doesn't make that loud clanking noise. I absolutely love them. We kind of just had like a mismatch random array of Tupperware. You know how it is after like three, four, five years, your Tupperware just becomes completely mismatched. That's the stage we were at. So we just said F it. Spent probably like $100, Mitch, right? On Tupperware for both me and Mitch. I think we each got like 15 containers. And now we just have like a ton of matches. That's where my Tupperware is from. I'll put a little link down below from my like to know it that has the specific link directly to this Tupperware. I almost completely forgot that I am making like a cilantro lime quinoa. So I have all my quinoa in here for my dishes and then I'm gonna put cilantro in there. We're just gonna mix her up. Not that it's a huge step. You're so weird. Okay, that looks so freaking good. That, it's a, there's a lot of cilantro in here. Oh, that's gonna be good. Yum. Oh, that smells so good. I'm so excited. I wish I made more so I could eat one for dinner right now, but it's fine. I've just finished my meal prep, the salmon. So we have the salmon, the black beans, and then the cilantro lime rice. And then the pico that you saw me make, what I do is I heat that up when I'm ready to eat it and then I put the pico on top and then I put a hefty dollop, like probably half a cup of Greek yogurt. I just get the plain Greek yogurt from Kirkland. If you don't like Greek yogurt, you can literally just use sour cream. I just like to use Greek yogurt because the macros, 18 grams of protein in three quarters of a cup. I'm just saying, the gains will thank you. And that is like, I've been obsessed with this meal. I think this is the third week in a row I've made it and I love it and I'm not sick of it yet. Um, but Mitch just started on the shrimp fried rice. So in there, he is thawing the shrimp. That's really it. I'll keep you posted on the next steps because I'm not really quite sure what they are. And like I said, Mitch for the shrimp is gonna be a little bit more of a guide. He is drying them off after, after thawing them. Oh. Also, oop, side note because I get this question a lot. My pans are from Caraway Home. I absolutely love them. I do think I have a code, but when I tell you, Mitch and I have been using these pans since before I had a social media, I had a code, like, where is that dusty ass pan? Let me just show you. Because we've used this for like three, four. It's like in shambles. And so Caraway sent me a new set. That's that gorgeous blue one. Anyways, I get sidetracked. So what I did is I basically turned the heat to medium heat and we're just gonna put some oil in next. All right, we are just gonna put the shrimp right in the bowl. Sorry, it's kind of like awkward. I don't know how else to kind of show you and do it at the same time. But I'm just gonna mix the shrimp up and then I'm gonna put a little bit of salt on it. I hope you guys can even hear me over the steaming sound of the shrimp here. 
So we're just gonna let both sides of the shrimp cook. So, and then stick the rest in a bowl. And then once those are all in the bowl, we're gonna take our veggies. So I chose edamame, peas, and carrots. And then also your garlic, is that garlic? Yeah, garlic and ginger. And we're gonna add that to the pan next. Oh, and green onion to the pan next. We're just kind of eyeballing it. So like, I really like garlic, so I'm probably gonna add extra garlic. If there's a specific type of vegetable you prefer and like more, you can add more of that. But I will probably do a pretty even amount of all three veggies, add a little bit extra garlic and then ginger as well. <laughs> All right, Mitch is adding some green onion. Okay, so Mitch just pushed all the veggies to the side and we're gonna add avocado oil really quickly to that and then that's where we're gonna cook the eggs. I think I'm doing one egg per day of the week. Uh, yes. excited. So we're gonna do, I'm doing four dishes, so we're gonna do four eggs. I also wanna do maybe four egg whites. Thank so you. we're going to do four eggs and four egg whites in this entire dish. So Mitch just told me that we want to cook the egg to a point where it's not fully cooked. And then that's when we add the quinoa. Oh, amazing. And then we're going to add some soy sauce on top of that. And sesame oil. And sesame oil. Yum. How much are you adding? Or just eyeball. eyeball? It's another eyeball kind of moment, right? Yep, get the egg real good. I broke it up and mix it in. That's kind of kind of crucial, sensitive one. Okay, we've got the big honkin' dish of fried rice. What I didn't show on camera was me just re-adding in the shrimp and then we just like cooked it on a low heat for a couple minutes just to like really make sure the shrimp was cooked but I'm gonna be microwaving slash reheating the shrimp um, and I usually nuke it so the shrimp you know will be cooked. <laughs> All right, I literally just finished my four shrimp meals. We have a lot of like quinoa fried rice left. So I think Mitch might make that or I might eat it tonight, whatever. I think that's it. We've made all our hard boiled eggs. We have all our fruit ready for the week. But I think we're gonna go watch the Super Bowl. It started, ah, oh my God, it started 45 minutes ago. Yeah. We've been missing the Super Bowl. So we just finished meal prepping for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll talk to you next time.